Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play review. Today we have Rika, R.I.C.A. So the first thing I want to say is, if you have any questions about the puzzle in this game, hit me up in the comments. Because I couldn't find any walkthroughs, and I super struggled. I found one in the Steam chat, but they, the person doing the walkthrough hadn't even completed the game. Well, they said they completed the game, but their video didn't go to the end of the game. So, like, the puzzles they did already, their walkthrough didn't help me. Because I already solved those puzzles. The puzzles I struggled with were later in the game, and they did not have a YouTube video for it. So, if you are struggling, hit me up in the comments and I'll try to answer your questions as best as possible. I don't know if this game has multiple endings outside of you dying and the ending I got. Because it said normal ending. And I don't know if there's a way to get different endings or anything like that because there wasn't any way to really search it. But I did get to the normal ending and that was a good enough ending for me. The ending was really well done too. I was super happy about it. That's one of the pluses to the game. Um... This is a very <laughs> challenging puzzle game, in my opinion. If you're a puzzle god, you might not struggle with it, but it's a lot. It starts off, you enter this mansion, and you have to find items, and you have to figure out where to use items, and you just gotta keep trying. If you're very diligent in this game, you will probably beat it. If you're not diligent, you're gonna get frustrated, <laughs> and you're gonna wanna quit. Also, save. So for the first two hours of playing this game, there was no death threat at all. And then I just straight up die. And I hadn't saved. <laughs> so I had to start over. But granted, once you know how the puzzles work, it's going to take a lot of the actual time to beat this game out of it. So it didn't really take me long to get back to where I was, but that just killed me. After like playing it for two hours, I was like, oh my. <sighs> and I thought I was towards the end too, but I was only like, probably a little bit over halfway. It's a pretty long game, like there's a lot of things to do in this game. It is, I don't know if it's long because it was hard, or if it was long because it, there are a lot of puzzles in this game and they are very different, which is really cool. Some of them are super easy, some of them are really hard. And some of them aren't hard just because it's like a brain boozle. Some of them are hard because you don't know what they want. <laughs> like you don't know, like one thing I'm gonna spoil for you without you asking, I'm not going to tell you how to solve the puzzle because I struggle with solving the puzzle is that the piano has three different places on it left middle and right you have to put a key in the left middle and right I thought it was all one thing and I was like I know I'm tone deaf but I'm that has to be the right tone and it wasn't given it to me because there's three different places you have to put a tone at and there's three different places you receive a tone from the other piano at so that's one of the things I'll tell you and there's another thing I'm gonna tell you in the room where you have to have four items, three you've already collected most likely. One of the items is on the shelf. I miss, or I just miss, like moved over a shelf that I'm supposed to click, and my goodness, I literally thought I couldn't get the item. I thought it was something I missed earlier in the game, and I was just screwed. But no, you just gotta look at all the shelves in the four item room. That's the two hints I'll give you right off the bat, without anybody asking, because I felt like that was more of a um, misunderstanding of the puzzle than like it, the actual puzzle itself. That's not solving the puzzle for you. That's just basically telling you um, things that you might overlook <laughs> that will really screw you over. So the story is really good. At first I thought it was like a super generic one, but the ending was awesome. <laughs> it was such a plot twist. I really, I really enjoyed the ending. I cannot um, stress that enough. The ending was really well done. And uh, the one thing I will complain about though is the grammar in this game gets really bad because it's a translation I'm pretty sure from a Japanese game. But the translation gets really bad at the end and I really had confused, I was really confuzzled on certain things that dialogues between the characters. It wasn't bad enough that I could, it, nothing got in the way of me solving the puzzles because of the dialogue. But some of the story just got really muddled, I think, because of the dial the poor grammar slash dialogue slash uh, translation. Oh my gosh, though. This game... If you like puzzles, you like challenging puzzles, this game felt super rewarding. And I'm happy somebody actually released like a free-to-play game like this. I really enjoyed it. And there are a lot of puzzles. A lot of different puzzles, and... 
like one's a sound puzzle like you had to hear a sound and you had to pick the corresponding sound that's hard for me because i am tone deaf as crap <laughs> or self-proclaimed tone deaf i'm actually just like not very musically inclined uh but the main character is Hinata, and you're saving your cat, uh, what is his name, Kojima or something like that? Because your cat's a... I, I thought he was a jerk at first, but then he's actually the good guy. He is the, he is the best boy that's not a doggo. Oh my gosh. And I'm not going to show you any puzzles during like this. Well, not many puzzles during this opening to it I was just kind of wandering around at the start because this game does not tell you where to go it does not tell you what to do it might give you little hints but it does not give you many hints this is a hard game for me you might be freaking Sherlock Holmes and get through this game on your first try save there are there's one part where you would die over and over again and somebody said there was no uh, jump scares I don't know if they beat the game or not or maybe they had their sound off but there was one part that gave me a mini heart attack because I read their comment that there was no jump scares and there was a jump scare. Oh my god. It was a sound jump scare and it... <sighs> <sighs> I was like, what? My, my heart! I'm having a heart attack. Oh god. But, yes. Uh, I don't really have much else to say about it. That's, it was just a really good puzzle game. The only thing I really wish it would have improved on was the grammar. It's a very good RPG maker type game. The graphics aren't, or they're pretty good for a pixel game. It's not anything amazing, but. And you probably won't see the ending coming. If you saw the ending coming, if you get to the end and saw it coming, let me know because that took me off guard. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> what just happened? Um, there's also little like note dialogue things you can get. This game gets a. I'll give this game an 8 out of 10 because this was something even though it frustrated me to like no end it was challenging it had a pretty decent story and my main drawback to this game was that it doesn't have an auto save because I'm bad and I'm not going to take points away for that and it's a very complete game the grammar the translation was really bad so that kind of took some from it and it's not Obviously, it's not like the most entertaining gameplay game you'll ever play because it's a, just a puzzle game where you just walk around and find items and you find out where to use the items and then you solve the puzzles depending on what they are. But thanks for watching as always. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye!